hey guys welcome 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 to my channel if you are new here and if you are a returning viewer welcome back i know i know i know you are probably saying nisi where in the world have you been <laughs> Well, as you may be able to tell by the sound of my voice, I have been sick. <laughs> Guys, it has been it has been a rough month of September. Oh my goodness, it was just like oh my goodness, it's been I've been sick, taking antibiotics and night quill and theraflu and just anything and everything else that you can take under the sun honey and lemon and just cough drops and vitamin C just any and everything under the sun your girl has been ingesting <laughs> and it's still you know absolutely crazy it, you know it hasn't left me yet so I'm still feeling a bit tired and just ugh. anyway we're, we're not gonna even harper on that right now okay just know that i'm still alive okay <laughs> but guys the month of september has been absolutely crazy and it's going to get even crazier because i'm finally going to be moving guys so from here on out i'm going to be packing up things and getting situated and it's just going to be absolutely crazy i haven't been able to get much coloring done lately because you know it's just been absolutely crazy but guys i just had to come on here and just touch bases with you guys and just share with you some of the amazing things um that i have been privileged to <laughs> um since the last time we talked okay guys Okay, I'm just, every time I think about this, I get like, I get all choked up and like caught up and like my chest gets full because of I'm, I'm just emotional and happy and just, okay, one of my amazing, amazing, amazing subscriber friends on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful community of my channel and Dollar Diva World and just absolute awesomeness of people <laughs> one a lovely 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 person uh sent me some happy mail guys and i tell you <sighs> I, okay i'm i'm gonna stop talking and just share with you the happy mail because i i'm i'm afraid i'm gonna start crying or something and just <laughs> but um, I'm going to keep her anonymous, but she knows who she is and she knows how much of an amazing person that she really is and, and how much I really, really, really appreciate this amazing gift that she has bestowed upon me. So let me share with you guys what she sent me, okay? Now, I do not possess well did not possess in the past but now i do <laughs> i didn't possess any of hannah carlson's books any of her beautiful 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 books i didn't have any of them and i really 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 wanted um some of her stuff because i mean hey everyone has them and it would be awesome to be able to do you know like color alongs you know from these books books like these with you guys and you know the more popular books because a lot of my books that I have are I wouldn't say that they're not popular but there are more popular books out there that more people have and possess and they will be better to do like color alongs in and tutorials because lots of people have them so this is one of the beautiful books that she sent me. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It's Summer Nights by Hannah Carlson. So 
I know you guys already know what's inside of this book, so there is no need for me to even open it up because <laughs> there are a kabillion, kazillion flip throughs of it. So you know what's in it. So we have this one, Summer Nights. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, the next one she sent me was Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson, of course. And it's so pretty. I'm going to be able to practice all of the beautiful gems and lovely flowers and everything. And you know me, I'm going to be doing some alterations to some of the pictures because I just have to be extra and different, right? <laughs> so here we have a Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson and one more Seasons by Hannah. Carlson. And it's so pretty. The gold foil and lettering and so forth. It's just so absolutely a beautiful. Yes, guys, I just had to open it up. Just share with you guys. We're going to be doing some beautiful, beautiful gym work. Yes, guys, it's going to be sparkly. That ant is going to be, have a little ruby in his mouth and he's going to be carrying that ruby on into the sunset somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Guys, yes, so I was so super excited to get all of these beautiful, beautiful goodies because I didn't have any of these books and I had them on my wish list, you know, on my Amazon wish list, hoping to one day, you know, get it once I'm off my buying ban. <laughs> but she was absolutely amazing to gift me these. So look at this. This is the next one. And this one is by Kalara Markova. And I think this is Magical Delights. So we have this beautiful, beautiful book. Isn't it pretty? Oh, okay. I didn't know he was back there. <laughs> Naked and all. Yeah, we're going to have to put some clothes on him. <laughs> so guys, this is the next one. And this is the next one she sent me, Nightfall by Maria Troll. So I was so happy to get this one because actually I only owned one hardback beautiful book, which is The Twilight Garden by Maria Troll. So now I have them both. Yes, guys, I was so happy. I know Nightfall is, you know, an older one of Maria Troll's book. I think she has like two other ones out since then, but this is new to me. You know, I thought I was doing something by getting Twilight Garden. So <laughs> to have Nightfall, I am ecstatic. Okay, guys. So you talking about somebody who is just thrilled, tickled pink? That's me. That's me, 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 me. Now, the next one she sent me was this one, Color at Home, A Young House Love Coloring Book. Now, you know, I already have a copy of one of these, but I had another copy on my wish list so that I could have a duplicate copy because I, this is one of my favorite books, you know, and I want to be able to color um, the images again because I absolutely love them. I love the images in this book. So to have this second copy, Thank you so much. <laughs> so we have color at home. And we have the secret Paris. Oh my goodness, guys. I actually had a copy of this and I'm going to probably do, I have a review video in the videos past, but I was like, I didn't like the secret Paris book, but because I got it, I bought it, and someone had already colored a few pages in it. But for some reason, when I got this gift copy, I looked through the book again, and I'm like, I absolutely love this book. <laughs> it's something about gifts make you rethink what you like. <laughs> but I absolutely love this book. I'm keeping this copy. Now, I'm going to probably get rid of or gift my copy that I bought that had the couple of coloring pages. I'll probably gift that one. I know you're like, well, Nisi, why are you going to gift the, the used coloring book? Because this one was a gift. 
And it's so precious to me. <laughs> but I absolutely, I love it, you know. It has some very beautiful images in it. And I'm going to do a flip through. Well, I already have a video of a flip through for The Secret Paris, The Secret New York. And I think I had um, Splendid Cities. So I'm going to do a video of them, explain to you my likes and my dislikes, but disregard what I say about the secret Paris in that video, because my gift has made it special. This gift copy, I've rethinked everything about this book now. So I love it. <laughs> All right. So the next book that I was sent was this one, World of Color. And this is actually a coloring magazine. And I really, really like this, guys. It's a really, really nice book. And if you'd like to see a complete flip through of it, just let me know. And I will do that for you, okay? So we have this cute coloring magazine. And then we have this one, A Fantastic City's Splendid Creative Designs. And it's kind of like a folk art kind of type of book. But I really like this one, too. It's very different from what I usually um, like to color. So I'm going to be very interested in seeing what I come up with in this book. So if you like to see a flip through of that one, let me know. And last but not least, guys, this one. Just add color on the go. 100 designs to relax and color anywhere, anytime. It includes botanical, folk art, and geometric artwork. And it has six fully colored illustrations in the front. But I really like the paper that it's printed on. It's very, very nice paper, and it's one-sided. And it has... um perforated pages so you can tear them out once you're finished with them so if you like a flip through of that one just let me know it's a really cute thick little coloring book awesome okay guys so that's it for my happy 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 mail oh my goodness you talking about somebody's day was made it was mine <laughs> Now, let's get into some haulage. Okay, so I have been on a buying ban. I put myself on a ban because I, the past couple of years since I started this hobby, I went absolutely nuts, okay, in um, getting art supplies and coloring supplies and coloring books, just anything and everything that was on sale, I got it you know, any cheap pencils, I got them, you know, and the thing that I regret about like impulse buying and binge buying when I first started my hobby is I really didn't know what I liked. I didn't know what supplies I liked. I didn't know what books I liked. I didn't know what designs, you know, the type of coloring books I liked. I didn't know these things, you know, and I just bought all of this stuff. And now I have a ton of coloring books that I don't see myself ever using because it's just not my style now everything that my friend sent me she knows that's my style <laughs> that's my style but I didn't have the opportunity of purchasing that at the beginning because I didn't know so I purchased a bunch of you know dollar store coloring books and really cheap coloring books that had a lot of designs in it and stuff and illustrations that I'm not ever going to call her because that's not me anymore or that's not what I even like to begin with. But I didn't know that at the time. So now I'm kind of stuck with so much that I really don't really like. So it's I kind of put myself on a ban to try to possibly de-stash um, a lot of the things that I know I won't be using or that I have duplicates of. Yes, I was a duplicate buyer if I had a coloring book that I thought I might like and it was two dollars and I bought two of them because I'm like it'll never be two dollars again Ugh, I hate that I did that guy so I need to do a video of like the do's and don'ts of a beginner colorist or whatever so 
Yes, guys. But okay. So anyway, moving back to China, you know, I went all the way from China to New York City with this conversation. <laughs> but I was on a buying ban, but I did find some really good deals of some things that um, I really wanted. So I treated myself. Plus, they were a super, super, super good deal. But I found these guys. I found the Crayola 100 color pencils. And I found them for a, an amazing price, guys. I found them at an amazing deal. So I went ahead and, and got those. And so I have already put them in my little Crayola case. So I plan on doing a video using them very, very, very soon. But guys, the colors, oh my goodness, they are just absolutely amazing. Amazing are the colors that you get. Okay, I mean, skin tones out of this world, right? Going to be able to do some amazing, amazing stuff with these. So I can't wait to share with you guys what I do with those, okay? And the next thing I purchased were these, these Leisure Art Superior Coverage Pencils. I got these from... Um, a place called Ollie's. So, okay, I'm going to just cut this. Okay, there we go. And I tried them out. Um, there were there was an open pack in the store. So, oh, I need to swatch these guys. I need to swatch them out. Maybe I'll do a swatching video with you guys of these. But I tried them out in the store. And at first I was like, you know, I've seen these in Walmart. They're like $10 in Walmart. But of course, all these mark them down, um, discounted. And I saw them and I looked at the barrel and I was like, there is no color name. There is no number, no identification mark on these things. I'm not going to get them. And then I said, wait a minute. Let me try something. So I had a scratch piece of paper in my purse. I scratched them out and I was like, yes, guys. Oh, my goodness. These pencils are amazing. So I'm going to try them out and swatch them out and let you guys know what they remind me of. But when they say superior coverage, they're not telling a story. They are very, very smooth and just I have to try them out before I tell you what they remind me of or which pencil they remind me of. But right now, they are an amazing pencil. Like the, the coverage and the smoothness and how they write or color, it's, it's very nice, very nice. I just hate that they don't have the name on the barrel and so forth. So I cannot wait to try these out with you guys. So be looking for that. And the next thing I got was some journals, guys. I am definitely into journaling. And oh my goodness, my little book is peeling. Oh man. Oh well, we'll fix that. I'm into journaling. Um, and look at that. How pretty is that? Look at the little. Look at that. That's so cute. And oh my goodness, look at that. Oh boy, in the inside. This is actually the bookmark right here with a little diamond on it. But this is the first page. And look at that. It's hardcover. So pretty. And in the inside of your pages, you have your butterfly and your lines to do all your journaling. And then that's the back. I got these from a flea market, actually, and I was just so absolutely happy to get this because it's so pretty. And the next journal I got was this one. How cute is that? It has like a leather backing and the pretty artsy 
cover that's kind of like a canvas material, but it's heart book cover. Oops, sorry, I'm shaking you guys up. And then here's the inside page, and how cute is this? Look at that. It has the date, and then you put your your journal words here or whatever, or whatever you want to write, and then it has like a backdrop, like a watermark of the front picture of the little houses and stuff. And then you have your bookmark right here. How nice, how nice, how nice. So pretty, right? Yes, guys. Beautiful. And last but not least, have this journal. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. And the inside, you can write whatever you want to put there. What is it for? And then these are the inside pages. So I know it's kind of not coloring related, but journaling, all that good stuff. It kind of is <laughs> kind of goes in with the art theme or you can use this as like a junk journal or art book or whatever you know so yes guys that's that and the last piece of happy mail that I got was actually uh, something for review I was sent these watercolor brush pens uh, to review by uh, the company One Picks. So uh, I was sent these and I really um, wanted to wait until I was up to par and was feeling better so that I can do a, a good review video for you guys. And I was going to do the review out of this watercolor coloring book so that it can be amazing for you guys so I think I already have the picture picked out that I want to do well I had it at one point it's somewhere but anywho it's a simple picture and I wanted to complete like the whole thing with you guys so that you can see exactly how these marker pens, uh, brush pens work. So look out for that review video, guys. And that is it, guys. That's what has been going on in my world. Um, that's just been what, you know, what's been going on, what I've been buying and happy meal and all that good stuff and I have a you know some videos lined up I had a video request of how to color trees with Prismacolor so I have not forgotten about that video person that requested that no I have not forgot about you that's coming up soon trust me but um it's just you know I'm gonna try to get that um review video out uh, ASAP so hopefully that will be like the next video that I um I upload and me coloring in the watercolor and coloring book with those markers to review those brush pens so but just to let you know uh, for the next couple of months you know I will be moving and I plan on just getting some serious serious coloring done guys i i really want to engulf myself in all of these beautiful supplies and amazing books that i've received i just want to try to just use these things you know someone said on a post not too long ago that you know the coloring book buying hobby and the actual coloring hobby those are two different separate hobbies <laughs> the actual art supply and book buying portion is a separate entity from actually using them and that is so true you get like this excitement or this thrill from purchasing these things you know purchasing new pencils I know some of my favorite colorists and youtubers they actually feel and rub on their pencils and smell them you know who you are <laughs> I do the same thing I'd be like oh you're so pretty pencils so 
it's like buying coloring books, you know, and pencils and art supplies and all that stuff. It's it's part of the fun, you know, and then using them is a whole separate thing that you have to get done. <laughs> So I plan on in the next couple of months just doing some serious, serious, serious coloring. And I'm going to try to record as much um, of this awesome hobby as I can. But I want to focus on it. And I want to try to regroup myself and try to remember why <clears throat> I started this hobby to begin with. So... It's just, it's, it's going to be, you know, very interesting, you know, trying to get things together and I'm going to be um, moving into a smaller space. So I won't have all of the room to store my items and all my goodies. So I'm really going to have to, just like you do with your clothes, you know, and your shoes, if you have like a whole bunch and then you have to downsize, it's like, oh no, what do I get rid of? What do I keep? What do I, what do I do? <laughs> I know um, one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, she moved and she had to box everything up and it was like horrible for her. She was like, oh my goodness, my Prismacolors are in storage and I hate it. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to have to go through. I'm going to have to figure out, you know, what I'm going to box up, what I'm going to keep out, how I'm going to set up my uh, recording and desk and coloring station and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm going to have a lot on my mind, but I'm going to try to get some coloring done, focus on it and include you guys in that as much as possible. So like I said, um, look forward to my next video of the review of these watercolor brush pens and coloring out of this watercolor book and also some other fun stuff. So guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in and sticking with me throughout this entire journey and everything. So I would like to say, guys, yes, thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so as always, guys, what do I want you to do? How do I want you to do it? Why do I want you to do it? Be happy while coloring. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.